Hi everyone and welcome to my back garden where we're going to do a quick video for the Duke of Edinburgh Awards uh, expeditions um, and we're going to be uh, discussing what is inside a bag or what to pack in your rucksack for a two day and a three day expedition so the two days for bronze and the three day for silver which some of our group will be doing okay so we're first going to start off with the bag The bag that uh, the rucksack that you use on a, an expedition and um, this is a 65 uh, litre uh, rucksack so enough room to fit everything in uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the things that I put in uh, to this bag and what you'd probably need uh, from the kit list this is from the Duke of Edinburgh Awards for doing an expedition uh, and we're going to be covering the um, two days which is for bronze and uh, three days for silver. Um, okay, so the main thing in here at the moment that you need to get is uh, a black bin bag. Uh, and what you do with the black bin bag um, is you line the inside of your bag, and what that's going to do is going to protect your clothing and protect stuff from the rain and things like that. So we're just going to quickly do that now. Just shove it in, and then when we put stuff in this into this bag, it's going to uh, go inside this uh, bin bag. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna uh, move on to clothing now. Um, one of the things with packing your bag is uh, you want to make it as light as you can, uh, but you still have to bring enough equipment um, sensibly so that uh, you're not um, things like missing certain items like uh, being cold at night or if one of your tops gets wet then uh, you might want another top that's dry so you do have to think about this and um, so some of these items are stripped down but there's certain things that I have got a couple of um, and the reason for that is emergencies really so first thing we've got is a sleeping bag which is going to go in the bag and the bag down the side here now I'm aware that some of you might not have a sleeping bag. Uh, where we're doing the where we're doing the expeditions, they can hire you a sleeping bag. Uh, if you want to buy one, you can buy one. But if you've got your own, then that's fine. So I've got this sleeping bag, which packs down quite nicely. So that's going to go straight in first. The other thing that I'm doing as well is I'm thinking I'm thinking of the things that I want want to access out of the bag need to be on the top so anything i don't need will need to be at the bottom of the bag because you're gonna have this bag with you um, all day so uh, anything you want to get out you want to have that at the top and um, so that's that that's the sleeping bag straight in uh, socks so i've got four pairs of socks that go on your skin uh, so smut the the underlying socks so i've got four pairs of them going in i've got two um, I've got three pairs. Got one, three pairs of walking socks. Again, if you haven't got these socks, the um, the place where we're doing the expedition, they can lend you some socks. But you can buy these from outdoor centres, um, and they're just thicker socks than you normally get. So they're going in the bag. Pair of shorts. Three pairs of uh, underwear. Then in, and they're all going straight into the the plastic. Um, I've got one, two, three t-shirts. You're also going to be wearing what you arrive in as well, so you have to remember that as well, so you can take an item off here. I've got a pair of trousers or a pair of jogging pants for in the evening, so when I'm inside the tent, so I've got something dry. When it comes down to the trousers, it's really important that you don't bring jeans and you bring something and that's a material base so these are just walking trousers but you can bring jogging trousers and like tracksuit bottoms they're, they're absolutely fine but anything like jeans is not uh, good because when they get wet they get really uh, cold and they get heavy as well so them two are going in as well got a towel now notice that i haven't got a massive towel i've only got a small towel again that's to reduce weight um only i'll have a quick wash in the morning maybe um, so that's going in too. 
tops. Last thing that we've got um, is I've got a top on at the moment, but I've got a hoodie and I've got like a walking fleece as well. So it's really important to have spares of these because if you get cold, you'll need to put stuff on. And if you get wet, you'll want a dry one as well. So I've got two of those which will go in. Oh, that's looking pretty full at the moment, but probably got halfway. The other things that you will want to bring is a hat and a pair of gloves as well just in case it gets cold so it's, it is even if it's in the summertime and um, you do want to bring stuff like that because it might be cold first thing in the morning or when it gets uh, in the evening time as well okay so we're going to move on to food now Okay, so uh, moving on to uh, food. So this is um, for one evening's cooking or two evenings cooking as well. So that again, that's for the bronze. They do one night. They have to make a hot meal as part of the um, part of the criteria of the expedition. Is you have to have one hot meal when you camp. Um, when you're doing silver, you have to have two hot meals. Um, so this is for imagine this halved if you were doing. Um, your bronze and what you've got here for doing a silver uh, and you might want to add more uh, or you might want to have different things that's up to you but this is just a rough guide of what you might bring um, okay so we'll start off with the evening meals and what I've chosen um, so I've gone for um, pasta because pasta is nice and light all you've got to do is boil it up in, a, in um, uh, the transfer cooker and um, so you just boil it up in water and um, very easy to transfer you can cut a pepper up throw it in with the pasta or you can fry it on the uh, tranja uh, with onions i've got a bit of garlic i brought a chili uh, i've got stock cubes if i want to uh, add some salt or anything like that and i've also got some spices as well um, so there for making an evening meal i've got some um, tomatoes probably won't bring it in a tin but i haven't got the packets of everything so normally you might get this in a carton which would be lighter than a, an actual tin and when you've got a tin you might need a can opener so i advise not to bring tins and um, try and bring packets another thing you'll need is uh, oil so you can do your frying or anything like that and bring that in a small container like maybe like this and um, so you need some oil as well so you need to remember all things like that so there are your evening meals um, do it you can either choose if you want pasta or rice and um, if you bring in a pack like this you might want to bring a pack and share it between the other members of your group um, so that's one thing moving on to the other side here and um, so what we've got here is I've got tortilla wraps um, and what I've got is some um, cheese spread and I find that you can make the wraps up as you're doing your walk so these are like a sandwich really um, so you can put a bit of cheese on there, you could chop a tomato up and put it on there and you could just eat it whilst you're walking around. I find that really simple and easy to do so you don't have to um, mess around when you're on your walk or when you're travelling about. Um, the other thing that I brought was a sharp knife. So we've got one sharp knife for cutting all these veg up so it's quite essential to have a knife. The other thing that I've got which is quite genius is this which is a fork a knife and a spoon all in one now I can get some of these for everyone to have one of them because they're quite uh, handy to have and um, other things that I've got I've got some fruit apples bananas crisps these ain't the, they're okay these crisps but that's all I had in the house but bring some crisps I think they're good snacks uh, biscuits they're good as well nice and light um, and bars it's good to have some bars so anything that's got chocolate in is good because it's fast energy um, so I've just got a couple of bars of chocolate and some of these um, like cereal bars as well. They're good for in the morning too. Um, the other extra things that I've got is a sponge and I've got some fairy liquid in here just to wash my pots up at the end of uh, a meal. Uh, obviously we've got this tranja, so this is the cooking stove. Uh, I have made another video on how to use this and what's in the stove, so have a look at that if you've not already. Uh, and then the other things I've got, water is essential, you need a lot of water. Um, there'll be When we're doing the expedition with the guides, they will supply us with water, but you do it is handy to have a water bottle with you, so you can top that up. And also you'll need your water for cooking some of these um, items here. 
also having a cup so you don't have this is a bit of a fancy cup but um, you could just have a plastic cup so you can drink out of again things like that can be provided for as well um, I think that is everything on the food side so uh, now we're going to move on to other items that you will need inside your bag uh, and I'm going to pack some of this inside there and probably with this going to pack it in a separate plastic bag so I know my foods all together um, another thing I wanted to mention as well is if you're in a team of four one bag might have food in another member of the team might have the tent in and another member of the team might have the stove in so don't think you've got to pack all of this stuff into one bag so you'll be just doing sections of this these items the only things that you'll have in your bag will be your own clothes and your own sleeping bag uh, and you have a roll mat as well but we'll move on to that um, but yeah this sort of stuff is shared items and you'd work out what people are going to carry um, when you're uh, in your groups okay this is um, the last section of uh, things that you'll need um, so one of the big essential things is the torches so I've got three here I've got a standard torch um, which is essential for in the evenings when you want to get around your tent and maybe you want to go to the toilet so it's essential to have that you can get head torches as well like this uh, like that uh, but it's essential to have them as well as having these it's good to have batteries as well because the batteries run out so having spare batteries um, is uh, very important too moving over to this side first aid kit well, we will supply these but um, a first aid kit um, again is essential if uh, you cut yourself or you need any uh, first aid whilst you're on your expedition other things that I've got here oh, I've got some cups just uh, there they're the different ones to the cups that you um, that you can have um, some plastic beakers um, compass so you need a compass and obviously you'll need to uh, take an OS map or you'll be given an OS map normally you'll get given a card and you'll go up you have a route on that card but basically it'll be exactly what you see on these maps like that um, by this point you will be able to read uh, an OS map because the training you're given beforehand other things I've got here are toiletries you'll definitely need a toilet roll for when you need the toilet that's important also if you I don't know you want to clean your hands or anything like that so having a toilet roll is important you may need more than one uh, and this is just uh, my wash bag I've just got things like obviously soap um, uh, soap toothpaste toothbrush another important thing is um, is sun lotion or some protection from the sun um, so maybe you'll need some of that if you're if it's going to be hot when you do your residential in the summertime so um, that's essential any medical equipment so if you're asthmatic then you definitely need to bring an inhaler so it's important that you do bring stuff like that so um, I have an inhaler in here um, just uh, just as a kind of precautionary one anyway so that's what's in my wash bag so I'll quickly move these aside move on to shoes so you get given a pair of walking boots like that. Um, so if you want to, if you've got your own, bring your own. Um, but um, you can hire them as well. So you'll have a good pair of walking boots, which we'll be walking in. Bring a pair of sliders or bring a pair of flip flops. That's good to walk around the camping um, area. And also bring a pair of trainers. Uh, these are just an old pair of trainers. Don't mind if they get ruined or anything, but. Getting out of the boots is essential and you want to get into uh, some soft um, or comfortable shoes for when you're not doing your travelling. The last two bits of kit we have is uh, a roll mat. So this is what you'll sleep on when you're uh, when your tent's up. Um, so you'll have one of them attached to your bag. Uh, and then the other thing is the actual tent. Now I've got this one which is quite a small one man tent but they'll be a little bit bigger than this. Um, but what I'll do is I'm going to pack my bag up and I'll show you um, exactly um, how the bag will look when you put it on your back okay so I've uh, packed the bag up so I've got uh, my roll mat fastened on the top here uh, and then on the bottom um, I have got the tent 
which fashions these, tra these straps and you just pull, the, pull them tight uh, and that's not going anywhere, that's quite, quite nice to have as well. Um, so I'm just going to put this on my back, lock it on my back like that. So it's really important that you get these straps as well, just the straps so that the straps work well for you and it's comfortable on your back. Um, we've got these adjustables here and it's again important that you fasten these on because it's going to help the support, help you to support your back. Right, I'm on my way, I'm all set for an expedition. Um, thanks for watching and I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, ask any questions. If you have any questions, just get in touch and speak to people. But um, yeah, this is just giving you information on how to pack a bag for one of the expeditions. See you later.